Hey, what's up, everybody? I want to show you guys this uh, accordion that, uh, that a customer brought in that they want us to paint. Um, what I'm doing now is just breaking it down, seeing what I can take off and, you know, what, what I'm going to have to mask off and stuff. Um, so what I'm doing, um, like I said, uh, it had like a matting behind here, you know, like going in between these... Uh, so it's open, and that matting is going to stay white, so good thing I was able to take it off, or else I would have had to mask off all that design just to save the, the background. But um, it's still going to have quite a bit of masking. As you can see it has a lot of little, uh, little stones in there. So that's going to be all masked off. And as you can see, it's going to be pretty time consuming. <clears throat> I'm going to try to save that gold also. The customer said it's not a big deal if we get paint on it, you know, because this thing's going to go like a turquoise pearl. And, uh, but I'm going to see if I can save that gold right there. I might just come back with the, with a gold, uh, with some gold paint, you know, with a, with a real fine brush and, and just do all that gold in there, but it is, uh, <clears throat> it is able to, you're able to feel that line, you know, and, uh, he does want to save the yellows, the red, the blue, and obviously the, uh, the little stones, you got, s <laughs> this thing is packed with them, so, this is, uh, it's going to be a pretty intricate job, you know, I'm going to have to get really, really into it, you know. There's a few panels that come off also. Alright, um, also on another note. I've been working on the 50. Um, it's coming out nice. You know, it's almost ready for 80 grit. I got a couple of low spots still I gotta, I gotta do right here on this section. But for the most part the quarter's done. I'm going to start working my way around the back there. All this is all straight. I went ahead and did all the door jam. It's all done. Um, just needs to be hit in uh, 80 grit. Um, as you can see how nice it came out. All cleaned up. All the edges. Uh, as you guys uh, probably seen some of the older videos. You know the way I had to uh, cut these hinges out and, and move them over. And then add up steel to cover these sections here. I was working also on the firewall, putting the mud on it, making sure it's nice and straight. There's still a low spot there and one there, and, uh, and that was caused by the warpage when it was zapped in, you know, uh, but it's no big deal. Just just needs another coat right there and there, and uh, that'll be good. You know, we're going to put some of that 2K primer on it, and... Uh, that way, if you know if the owner wants to put this thing in a car show, and uh, it's gonna be ready for it, you know. That's where it's coming out, though. This this side also just has a couple of bad spots that I gotta just go over, and it'll be ready for primer. <clears throat> but I'm gonna do, like I said, just come around that other side, you know, do the back end. Um, after I'm done with the bodywork on the firewall and, and and on that other side. I'll be able to concentrate on the back door, and then I'll come and do this little section, you know, last. And um, I'm going to have to get the hood in here and do some work on the hood. We're going to do some modifications to the hood. And the fender needs to have a section added to it. And um, you can see we weld this door a little bit too far back, so it's hitting. So i got to recut it, you know, and, and pull the door out and then re-weld it, plus reinforce excuse me, reinforce the inner, uh, the inner hinges for the roof, on the roof inside, um, well, it's coming along, it's close, close, very close, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel, I can see this car getting pulled out of here on a trailer, you know, that's how close I'm getting to having it done, so, hope you guys are, uh, we're able to see this car from the from the get-go and seeing how much work we actually done on it. 
Uh, like I said uh, before, there's a I got a lot of pictures on Facebook. You guys uh, request me or whatever, you guys will be able to see them. Um, yeah, 50 looking good. All right, um, I got this accordion right here, taking it apart. Just uh, so I can remember where all these buttons and stuff go. Um, there's four of them back here that need to come out. I started taking that one out, as you can see. And then I'll take this, this plate off right here. And let's see if I can take these off too from the back side. And the strap right here needs to come off. At this point, uh, the material came in. So I got some of these red scuff pads here. You know, I just cut me a little piece. Uh, you can see I just got it here on my lap. I masked off certain things that I don't want to get scratched up, you know, now that I'm scuffing it out. But uh, here's uh, one piece too. That one's all scuffed up right here, ready to go. Um, here's another piece that got scuffed up. You can actually see the uh, the name of the owner. You know, it's a, it's a real nice accordion, man. Uh, that's his uh, name. So um, that's scuffed up too. Uh, I went ahead and scuffed all this up also. You know, uh, what I did first was hit it with a gray scuff pad. That way if I did get close to these, uh, to these edges, you know, it wouldn't look so bad. And then I came back with red, you know, and tried just to stay away from whatever border that I was going to mask off or whatever. And it came out real nice. So, uh, that's, uh, that's the way it's coming out. Uh, this one's coming out real nice too. Like I said, I got to mask off all this stuff. Uh, they're going to also be bringing a car here in a little bit. I got a phone call from, uh, from the tow company. So... As soon as they come, we'll walk out there and uh, and give a quick shot of you know what what that's like. You know, another day here in the shop. Hope you guys are doing good. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, the tow truck just left. Here's a car that they brought in. It's a Toyota Corolla. Um, well, you can see what kind of damage it has to it. So uh, I'm gonna. Be making an estimate on it here in a little bit and see see what it comes out to you. This poor lady uh try to avoid the accident and that's what happened. I guess the, the lady in front uh just put the brakes and uh, this lady's getting the uh, blame for it, I guess because she was behind. That's yeah, usually the way it happens out here in New Mexico, you know. Um you hit somebody from behind and uh they assume it's your fault. So I'm gonna work with her and give her uh, you know the best deal possible. Uh, like I do with everybody, you know, and uh, and see if we can get this uh, done pretty quick. Uh, here's another truck I'm doing. I'm waiting for the uh, for the okay from the insurance company to start on it, start turning it down, and uh, and get started on it. As you can see, too, the fenders need to be replaced. The whole front end, actually, you know, the bumper, the radiator support needs to be pulled out. The condenser, the radiator smashed up. The uh, the clutch fans messed up. Uh, the the fan shroud and pretty much everything right there in the middle is just pushed in. But uh, that's what we're doing. I still got um, the 50 in the shop. Uh, that's what I've been working on for the last couple of days. It seems like I'm getting busier now, again, uh, which is a good thing. Can't complain. Here's a fridge I'm going to do. Uh, we're going to see if we could uh, get it done. A buddy of mine uh, brought it to me. So we could squirt it, do probably a hearty theme or something on it. And then uh, see if we could sell it. <coughs> All right. Uh, I better get back to doing this real quick. Still doing the... Uh, Accordion, sanding it all down, getting it ready. Ah, busy day. All right, everybody. At this point, uh, I got everything all sanded down, and uh, you can see I got my table ready. That's where they're gonna get painted. Here's that stuff I'm gonna use to mask it off. I cleaned it real good with some uh, rubbing alcohol. You know, that way this stuff will stick real good, and. Uh, now what I'm going to do is uh, get my razor blades, I keep a little stash of blades, you know, those surgical blades, uh, 
scalpels. Um, that's kind of how I set them up, just with tape, you know, and it's, it works out really well, you know, for me uh, to use as a, you know, to trim out all this, all these. So the plan now is just to go ahead and cut all this stuff out, you know, all those, well, everything that's going to, that's not going to get painted, and just leave that plastic and then peel off the rest. But um, that's a step I'm at right now. Alright everybody, excuse me, it's already dark outside, you know, I already finished this one off, you can see how I put that clear plastic, and I'm going to save all that lettering, it's actually masked right now, but it's that transparent plastic that uh, I used on that refrigerator, uh, it's it right here, clear uh, tracing masking film, you know, some pretty good stuff, so I'm going to give you a quick view. I still got to do this one. That one's going to probably take as much time as this did. This one took... Well, I'm turning the phone and doing another job in this. Um, took me a couple of hours to do. You know, I wasn't on it, you know, continually. So, now it's already about 7, 8 o'clock. You know, I shouldn't have no... Uh, I shouldn't be getting disturbed. So, uh, I'll be able to do a lot more. I'm doing this now. You see how I started masking off these, uh, the chrome here. I'll mask that off. All right, just give you guys an example of what I'm doing. Um, I'm putting the tape over it and filling for the imprint, you know. And with uh, the scalpel blade, I'm cutting out each individual one, you know, by hand. And then, uh, that allow me to just pull the tape off. Let's see when it gets stuck. So it needs to be cut a little bit more. It's pretty thank them to me, you know, but What we want right there, you know, have each little jewel and gem, whatever the hell they are, masked up. The way that one came out, and you can see I used the blue masking uh, tape, the fine line tape for that. So I'm just kind of, kind of trying out different materials, and you know, just see which what's a little quicker and what's um, what's going to make my job easier, you know. So. As it all gets done, I went ahead and covered those vents right there too with fine line tape. It's a quarter inch. Once you can see that one the way it came out, all those little diamonds are masked off. Right, I got the sealer on it. Um, it's looking pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna have to just uh, keep my air pressure down real low because it uh, looks like some of those layers want to pop off, you know. So I'm just pushing it down as I go along, and um, you know, good. That's a sealer right there. All right, you can see uh, what I'm doing now is just trying to tack it down real carefully. You know, this job's pretty tedious. I don't want to pull any of the stickers off, but I need to tack it off, you know, just to make sure there's not going to be no, no um, contaminants or dust particles or nothing on here. Oh, well, here it goes. All right, um, I put the first coat of base on it. That's the color it's going. Just going to walk around here real quick. I have this one picked up because uh, I shot underneath. Alright, uh, sorry about that, I was interrupted by a phone call. But, there it is. It's the color uh, that I wanted it. Um, like I say, that's the first coat. I'll probably put one or two and, and then uh, 
and then they mask everything real carefully because I'm going to go ahead and clear coat over the over everything even the names and all that stuff so that way it looks real nice and, and the same you know but um, just a quick shot before the clear goes on uh, at this point I got it all based up I'm going to go ahead and let it sit for a little bit and then uh, I'm going to come back and demask all the designs that I masked off and then uh I'll go ahead and uh, I'm gonna see how these uh, how these grooves look after everything's all demasked. I might put some gold to it, you know, and then and connect everything the way it was before. Because, like I mentioned, it does have grooves, you know, from the design to each design. There's actually a groove, like where the star is and stuff, you know, and, and it might look a lot better if it's just gold, you know, and have that gold border. Is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so in a little bit after it's demasked, I'll check it out and see see if it needs that. It looks real nice. It's a real nice color. get the idea right all right Wow! Now that I see the uh, the the stones, you know, glowing, uh, shiny, and stuff, you know that that guy that owns this thing really did a uh, he picked a real nice color for that, you know, and uh, it, I mean it pops good. Uh, you remember I had to mask each individual stone up, a little design. I had to mask all that up. But wow! Look how it looks. Nice. All right, here's another better look at it. Um, I went ahead and demasked it, as you can see. Man, this thing's gonna look awesome. It's ready for clear coat. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tack it down real quick, and uh, we'll mix up some clear. 
And if I just put one wet coat on it, you know, it's not a car or nothing. And, and uh, well, I think one coat would be sufficient. But, but then again, uh, I'll tell as soon as I squirt it. If it needs a second or what. Alright, it's all done. Got it all clear coated. Um, it's still drying off. So uh, I'm going to let it sit for about another 30 40 minutes. And then uh, I'll take the, the rest of the tape off and call the customer to come pick it up. It looks real nice, man. That clear really looks good on it. All those gems are saved. Looks good. Alright, guys, I got it all demasked. Uh, you get a better look at it now. Uh, so you know what it took, you know, to mask it all off. Get all nice and stay. Chrome strips and everything, you know, just. Man, it looks real good.